Welcome to the spoken tutorial on T on and T off instructions. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of delayed turn on timer and delayed turn off timer. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of a contact and a coil. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect. SMPS and USB ASP to the main board as shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Let us open LD Micro. Click on Instructions and then on Timers. In LD Micro, we have three different types of timers. They are Delay Turn On, Delay Turn Off, and Retentive Delay Turn On. First, we will learn the working of a delay turn on timer. Insert a contact and a coil as shown. Rename the contact as switch. Then, rename the coil as LED. We will now add a delay turn on timer to the right of X switch. For that, place the cursor to the right of X switch. Click on Instructions, then Timers, and then Insert T on. Double click on the timer. In the Name column, type On. Note that the name will be prefixed by T by default. In the Delay column, we can enter the desired delay. Note that the delay is in milliseconds. We will have a delay of 5 seconds. So type 5000. Click the OK button. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch, Y LED and T on are 0. Double click on X switch. To change its state to 1, the state of T on will change to 20 milliseconds, but the state of Y LED is still 0. We can observe the state of Y LED will change to 1 after 5 seconds. The state of T on changes to 4.990 seconds. The T on variable counts up from 0 in the units of PLC scan cycle, which is 10 milliseconds. Now, change the state of X switch to 0. We can observe the state of Y LED and T on changes to 0 immediately. That is, when T on is given logic 0, it outputs logic 0 immediately. Again, change the state of X switch to 1. Within 5 seconds, change it back to 0. We can observe the state of T on goes back to 0. Thus, for T on to output logic 1, it should be given logic 1 for at least the delay time. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on Settings and select the microcontroller AVR at Mega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign pin PC0 to X switch. And pin PA0 to Y LED. 
compile the logic as timer on dot hex. Save the ladder diagram as timer on dot ld. Now we will see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the mainboard. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Initially, the red LED will not glow. Press the switch NO1. Remember, NO1 should be pressed for at least 5 seconds for LED to turn on. The red LED should turn on 5 seconds after the NO1 is pressed. You can use latched action switches to avoid long pressing of switches. Red LED will go off immediately when you release the switch NO1. Thus, the LED will glow after the switch is pressed for delay time. Turn off the power supply. Remove the connections made for this example. We will now learn about the working of a delay turn off timer. For a delayed turn off timer, when given logic 1, it outputs logic 1 immediately. When given logic 0, it takes at least the delay time provided to output logic 0. Its variable counts up from 0 in the units of PLC scan cycle. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Switch back to LD Micro. I will open the timer of .ld which I have created and saved already. Here, I have replaced the delay turn on timer with delay turn off timer. I have renamed it as T off and given delay as 5 seconds. Then compared the logic cache timer of dot hex and uploaded the same to the main board. The connections will be the same as in the delay turn on timer example. We can see that the red LED turns on immediately after NO1 is pressed. It will take 5 seconds to turn off once you release the switch NO1. Thus, the LED goes off after the delay time once the switch is released. Note the difference between delay turn on and delay turn off timers. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about working of delay turn on timer and delay turn off timer. As an assignment, Draw a ladder diagram to blink an LED. Hint, use both delay turn on and delay turn off timer. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, Please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. 
Do you have any general or technical questions on open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.